Hi guys, my name is Pip and I thank you for watching my new video. Welcome to going on a trip with Pip. Good morning, it is 5 a.m. right now. And in about 20 minutes, I'm hopping on a train and going to London to see the waitress. I'm only going there for one night and I'm taking you along with me. The wind is blowing, again, very loud probably. Yesterday, there was an actual storm. This storm caused a lot of trains to not ride at all. And I hope that's not the case this morning. I first have to go to Rotterdam. From there, I'll catch the train to Brussels. And from there, I'll catch the train so here's what happened. I was perfectly on time for my train to Brussels, but we had a 35 minute delay. Because of the storm, they could not travel the planned fast route, so the train had another hour of delay. Also, they could only travel with half the train because of the strong winds. We had to stand in the aisle for two and a half hours. I just decided to sit down in the aisle, watch Netflix on my iPad, and eat the breakfast I had prepared for myself before I left. It was fine until we actually got to Brussels. I'm kind of getting the feeling that the universe is against me. <laughs> My train was delayed about one and a half hours and now I am in Brussels because I had like a layover, whatever you call that. So I missed my second train to London right now. It is 11.15. I was supposed to be in London now, 10.15 time in London. I've been waiting in a queue for one and a half hours to book a new ticket. And the time I will be arriving in London, local time, 6.15. Eight hour delay, you guys, but I have some time to kill here in Brussels. I've never been here before. I have four or five hours to kill here. Let's just explore this part of Brussels. So I just came across this cute little ice cream shop and you know I gotta taste ice cream everywhere I go because I worked in an ice cream shop for about eight years, but they don't have any ice cream. Look, it's February, I get it, but still. It is, it is not that cold actually. I could go for some ice cream. Yeah, just roaming through the streets. I'm living my best life, I like this, I don't mind. It's okay. Can I get one Brussels waffle, please? With strawberry and dark, dark chocolate, please. When in Brussels, you have to eat one of the waffles, of course. So I ordered one with chocolate and strawberries. It feels so crispy. Yeah. Approved. <laughs> Done. This was honestly the best waffle I've ever had. I'm gonna let this sink in for a little bit. I have two or three more hours to kill. I'm on the big market square right now and it is seriously amazing. Look at all these buildings, they're gold. I mean, what? <laughs> right now I'm in front of the female version of Monica Piss. But she locked up, she's locked up. What you do? Maybe it's the peeing in public. One of the most exciting things for me about a new city is supermarkets. I don't know why, foreign supermarkets, they intrigue me, I love them. So let's go. I mean, come on, I haven't seen these in the Netherlands yet. Maltesers are my fave. Marvin and I like to try all different kinds of chocolate, mostly the dark chocolate ones. I'm gonna take this home to try together. I just found a restaurant that is based around avocados. I mean, dreams much. If you're here, definitely check it out. Okay, so I've ended up in this bookstore with this planner section and they have so many things that I want. There's a menu planner, there's a budget planner, there's everything I want in life, but I can't, I can't I keep walking. They have a second floor and there's even more. Help me. I have a bit more time to kill. I don't really feel like walking around the city anymore. I'm quite tired. I'm reading this at home and I couldn't take it because it's so big, you know? So I'm just gonna be reading in this store. I don't think that that's what you're supposed to do in a store because it's not a library. Ah, well. This is not what we agreed on, this weather, you guys. The sun was shining just about two hours ago. Okay, I'm gonna be driving one of these bad boys. I did this for 12 minutes and I was scared for my life. Maybe in a city with less bumpy streets, because <laughs> most of the streets are like this. It was really nice. Once you got to a smoother road, it's really nice. Pro tip for me, when you're at duty-free shopping, always spray your favorite perfume or scent so that you don't smell bad after a long day of traveling. But don't do too much because you don't want to like suffocate all the people around you. I checked in. Finally, train leaves in one and a half hours. I'm gonna be watching a movie now. Finally on my way to London. I am on the train and I have a seat. So we're boarding. 20 minutes late, which leaves me about 45 minutes to get from the station to the theater. I am so scared right now that I'm not gonna make it. That would be so sad. Let's keep the positive vibes going. Let's hope we'll make it. Please let me make it. It's a miracle I arrived in London. It's crazy. It's been a day. Now rushing to the metro to get to the theater.
I'm actually going to be making it, I think. I'll be there at 7 past 7, which is 23 minutes before the show starts. It's a winner! So I was in the Petro and I was in there for about 15 minutes and it just wouldn't leave and I was like, just leave already! It's been a ride today, guys. I've been on the verge of crying for about three times already. I made it to the theater. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> such a relief. It's 15 minutes before showtime. There's a big line outside, so I'm gonna get in because, you know, as long as there's a line outside, they're not starting. I also grabbed a quick bite at Leon's, so that's great. I love it. Oh, not hungry anymore, so that's great. I actually had time to go to the toilet as well. I mean, come on, living the dream. This is great. I'm so happy. <laughs> You were so yeah, amazing. Hi, hi, I loved hi, hi. it. Thank you. <laughs> I cried so many times. Oh, good, good tears. Yeah, good tears. Very good tears. Hi. Thank you so much for tonight. You're so <laughs> okay, I'm ready to die now. <laughs> so are you? Oh my god. I'm ready to die every day, Yeah, you are. You don't know what it's like when a good sun comes on in warm and she starts. Oh my god. I would be as well. I stopped singing. Hi. Hi. How are we doing? He was Good. amazing. Thank you. I'll take it I all the way to so the back. Much. I envy her so much. She's Why? got such a beautiful American accent. It's I really hard to get one of those. She's from the Netherlands. <laughs> she has an American accent. What is this about? What is life? What is Kiara? I don't know. Oh I'm lost. God, I love Bye. You. I love you, so you too. I love you. Bye. I gotta be honest with you. This was one of the best nights of my life. I was living my best life. I loved it. I want to go back tomorrow, but I can't because I leave at 4 p.m. again. I'm headed to the hostel now. I'm not really a night owl. It's almost 11 p.m. and I need some sleep. I need some rest. It's been a long, long, long day. Time to go find a bed in a room with nine other women. I have been to London before, but I can't remember realizing it's so beautiful. And I don't think I've been to this part of town either. I'm just so happy and fulfilled right now. <laughs> Sorry, had to stop in another supermarket. Oh God, I love supermarkets. I got myself some melon to end the day on a good note. I took a fork from Leon's because I thought I might need it and now I need it. That's nice. Good thinking, Pip. I arrived at the hostel, my place to sleep for the night. I climbed about six flights of stairs and made my own bed in the top bunk. Good morning. I had a good night of sleep. I'm going down three floors of stairs again. I had to climb those up yesterday. It was a small room, comfortable enough. I was very tired, so sleeping wasn't an issue. I'm gonna go have some breakfast now and ready to seize the day. Breakfast was okay, very simple. Gonna get something else as well, I think. I'm excited for today. Just got me some more breakfast to get some protein as well because the breakfast at the hostel was just carbs. Headed to Regent's Park right now. After that, I'm going to Camden. Camden Market, never been there before. Had to stop at New Look too because I needed new socks and those socks are so cute. I'm sorry, I just couldn't choose so I bought six pairs. I wanted to buy nine, but I was like, hmm, tone it down a little bit. <laughs> it was a 45, it is a 45 minute walk to Regent's Park. So I thought I'd take a bike, like cycle there. <laughs> this is not really a bike friendly city. You have to cycle on the streets. The bike that I took was beeping and I didn't understand. And let's just say we're walking again. <laughs> so that's where we're going. Apparently it's tradition that when you're in the UK, or well, specifically Scotland, but this time London, you eat McCoys. So Destiny, this one's for you. We're trying the blue one out today. Approved. I am having the time of my life here. There are so many dogs here. Cue the doggo break. some mac and cheese while well, I'm all fueled up now it was very good oh, and so heavy on the stomach so need to walk it off a little bit each time I think I've seen the entire market I stumble upon another piece of the market that I haven't seen yet so this is gonna take me a while but I am living my best life I love it guess where I am right now 
My train leaves at 5, that's in two and a half hours. It's going to take about three to four hours to get to Rotterdam. I'm going to be on the train during dinner time. So I thought I'd do that now at 2.30. Food so just arrived! You guys, I can't explain to you how much I love Nando's. They should totally get one in the Netherlands or two or just like a hundred. After my afternoon dinner, I rushed to New Look to get my sister some socks as well for her birthday. And then I headed to the train station to check in and be on my way to Rotterdam. I'm on the train, I found my place, I'm seated at a table, ready to go home. I just bought a book with my last eight pounds. I was four pence short, so I paid 4p by card. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be reading this on the way back. Look who I picked up at Rotterdam Central Station! It's me. It's Marky, we are reunited. I missed you. Marvin works in Rotterdam some days of the week. You give singing lessons. Oh, I am really tired. This is where I'm gonna end this vlog. There's not gonna be any travel vlogs coming soon because I have to put all of my travels in the first months of the year because it's gonna be a lot busier in the next couple of months. So I can't really go anywhere. Thank you so much. And take 16. <laughs> oh, sorry. Take 17. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. If you like this video, click the thumbs up. Let me show you many other videos you probably also like. Uh,